All right, today's install is brought to you by No Low Design. Uh, ordered a skid plate from these guys. Uh, great craftsmanship, awesome design. Uh, it's going to be a skid plate for the front of the 2020 down to the 2017 uh, Honda Ridgeline. You know, you put on two wheel drive, but I have an all wheel drive uh, 19 Sport. So uh, today's video is going to show you how to install it. Uh, the hardware, it's literally like uh, two bolts in the back, which are 14 millimeters and four bolts in the front, which are 10 millimeters. Hope you enjoy, thanks. Hey kids, no good Just so you know, I don't have a leveling kit on it or lift. Uh, that is coming next. I need to get the skip plate on there first. Um, if you wanna know what tires I have, these are black edition 18 inch wheels. Um, Pretty much any of the ridge lines have the same wheels. They're just painted black. Uh, got them off of a black edition. The tires I have are the Ridge Grapplers from Nitto, and the size is 265, 6018s. And everyone asks me if I have any rub on these. The only thing I have is a slight bit of rub backing up with a full steer. And I think it's only on one side, so no issue. I've taken it um, off-road on trails. Don't have any issues with anything rubbing. So uh, again, the uh, two 65, 60, 18s. And if you go with a 20 inch pilot or passport wheel, you're gonna get the two 65, 50, 18s. If you go over 30 and a half inches, you're gonna have rub because right back here is the subframe and there's no room to cut or give. So any questions, let me know. So as you can see, there is no protection underneath the uh, Honda Ridgeline if you're gonna take it on trails or off-road a little bit. Of course, it's not a rock crawler, so don't be beating me up about it. I understand that. Um, also, No Low Designs is creating a rear skid plate back there to protect, uh, I think, the gas tank and the rear differential. So uh, we're up on ramps right now. A few moments later. All right, so people don't freak out because I'm gonna put these uh, composite ramps, which I've used for 100 years. As you can see, they're nice and dirty. Front rated is 2,000 pounds each, 4,000 pounds per, or 8,000 GVW. As you can see, the ridge line, 6,000 GVR, and the front is only 31, 31. So half of that's 15 or 1,600. So we are perfectly fine with putting the Ridgeline second generation on these ramps. So don't go crazy when you see me roll up on these. And we're gonna put that on there. What we're gonna do is remove these bolts here and the two subframe bolts right here and right there. Also, No Low Designs is uh, in the works of creating a rear differential uh, skid plate as well. So uh, definitely check out their website no low designs.com it's in the description below and uh, that will be released here very soon so they sent the skid plate in this great u-line box uh padded with bubble wrap and some uh, insulation so uh great great packing no dents no dings so this is what it looks like uh all cnc'd bent to perfection uh the one side that is exposed outside uh, has the unfinished side on it and then the glossy side is over here on the aluminum. People wanted to see the gauge of the thickness. There you go, that'll show you that. All you're gonna need for this job is a 10 millimeter, a 14 millimeter, and a ratchet with a little extension. Okay, so what I noticed I have to do is I have the 
take the washers and lock washer off and adjust it a little bit because you have some some metal or something behind here so you got to pull it forward almost to the end line it up and then get one bolt in there and then you can see that they've given you this upgrade these were the originals and uh, we're having problems maybe with those popping out but they gave you this one now um so i'm putting that up in there now and when i first tried it was very difficult to get it started so I recommend doing one without the washers on it first, just to get it up there and get it compressed against that plastic. And then, as you can see, this one went in fine. Yeah, just take one of those, take the washer off of it, get them started. That's a lot easier. I do recommend a flashlight so you can see the holes because it's pretty dark up there right now but I'm getting them started. And of course, when I put in the back ones, those are loose so that I, I can move and adjust. And now that I have the front, I'll get the front tightened up in there all the way. And I'll work from the inside out too. It is recommended to put a little bit of little Loctite on there but I think these to the shop I'm done with this ratchet done As you can see from that bolt, see how much of the uh, plastic stuff is compressed underneath there. Yeah, I just double check all these because as you tighten one, the other one's loosen up. And you can get to the drain plug to drain your oil right here. That's what this hole is. Transfer case or transmission hole there. Yeah, so. And it's not too crazy if you gotta take this off. I mean, my goodness, it's only, you know, 10 minutes and a couple bolts. All right, that's the finished product. So now we got some protection. All right, that's the install of the no low design skid plate for the front of the 2017 to 2020 Honda Ridgeline uh, all wheel drive. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like. We're gonna have some more uh, Honda stuff on the channel here coming up shortly. Uh, we're gonna do the uh, tailgate lock. I'll show you guys how I put that on. Uh, the 2020s come with it, but the 2019 and below, uh, it was a Honda accessory. So I put that on here as well as the uh, extensions on the back doors to make those a little longer. Uh, it's actually the front strikers that we're going to put on the uh, back doors to let them open 11 degrees more. Hey kids, no good. Yeah.